this is Sean Canary. Uh, wanted to go over the social media audit of competing brands. I want to make sure that I explain this thoroughly to you. All right. As we discussed in this week's uh, reading, um, uh, assessment of your competitors is an important aspect of any social media plan. You have to compare yourself to uh, the current competitors out there and allow that use that as your benchmarks for um, you know what you need to do uh, and and what you can expect to do so this week's assignment one of this week's assignments is to complete a social media audit of competing brands which company do you use well again you can use any company that you want and two of their competitors but again, I would really love that you use uh, the company that you chose last week that you're writing a social media final uh, a plan for. Because at the end of the semester, you're gonna put all these individual pieces of the plan together. And if you work on these uh, individual pieces, you're gonna have your final paper done before you even get there. Because we're gonna work on each element of that paper throughout the semester. So the first element is a social media audit up to your uh, fake company or real company or whatever company you chose last week as the company you're gonna create a social media plan for, find two of their competitors and do a social media audit. For example, if I was participating in this class, I would probably choose, uh, you know, I always wanted to open up a restaurant and um, I want to open up a, a restaurant in downtown Knoxville, Tennessee. Love the area, I think it's a great area. Um, you know, uh, it's a cute little college town and I would love to open up a, a Greek restaurant in downtown in the uh, Market Square area. Uh, so my fake restaurant, I would look at two of their actual real competitors, right? I would look in that Market Square area and pick out two restaurants. In fact, I already did. One of those restaurants is called Austria Stella. It's an Italian restaurant uh, right near Market Square. Uh, and it would be one of my fake restaurants competitors if I opened up and moved into that area. So I need to pick another one besides Austria Stella. I might pick... Um, um, there is a, a nice restaurant called The Oliver. I might choose Ostia Stella and The Oliver. So, with that being said, I'm going to briefly describe both of the competitors. Ostia Stella is a uh, Italian uh, restaurant focused on Northern Italy cuisine. Um, they're, um, Maybe I briefly describe what their menu is, or you know, uh, what what kind of people, um, you know, what kind of uh, uh, people hang out there, what what type of uh, what type of a setup it is. I would describe the competition. Then I want you to examine one social media channel for each one of them. So I'm going to look at Ostia Stella's Facebook page. So I would say Facebook page. URL for this page is right here. So facebook.com backslash Ostiastella. The follower fan count, very easy to find. We'll go up here and they have 2.5 thousand likes and 2.8 uh, thousand followers, right? Very easy. Average weekly activity. Well, again, there's no re really tool that free but we can take a look. They have one, two, okay. That's last week. So one, two, three. So it looks like they post around three to four times a week. About three to four times a week is on average. So that's the number of posts uh, that, they, that they post. And what's the average weekly activity of those posts? Well, that's a good question too. Let's take a look. Nine likes, one comment, so about 10 interactions, 28 interactions, 32, 67 interactions, 29 interactions, 36, 31, 
10, 39, 12. So if I added up all those and divided it by the, by the number of posts, I would get the average. But just based off of this, I can tell that they're averaging around 35 to 40, uh, 40 type of uh, interactions per post. So three posts a week, around, I'll go with around 30, uh, 30 interactions. Now I can calculate the uh, interaction rate. Very simple to do. I'm gonna take those two numbers and I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to take the number 30, uh, 35 average engagements and I'm going to divide that by the number of fans of, of fans that they have. They have 2,800 fans. So 35 divided by 2,800 equals 0 0.0125. And if I change that to a percentage, that is 1.25%. So what does that exactly mean? That means every time that they post, right? They have 2,800 followers. Every time that they post, they only reach about 1.25%. Now you may think that's extremely low for organic social media, but that actually is right around average. Average organic reach is around 1.5 to 2%. Um, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty typical. Remember, Facebook and social media, just because you have that many fans doesn't mean that every time you post, every one of your fans will see it. Only the people that are engaged with you, right? And we determined that was 1.2%. So 1.2% of 28,000 followers is 35 people. That's why when you guys used your mimic, paid social media is a much, much better way to go because you can actually pay to expand the reach of your messages. But again, we just wanted to see organically what uh, type of an average engagement rate do they have. And then finally, the third, please discuss the posts that seem to do well. Now we re review this, right? There's one, there's 10, there's four, there's 12, nine, ooh, 28. Okay, so you got that. 67, it's talking about a person. 29, it's a nice picture of food. So I would think that the, anytime that they could talk about uh, food and show pictures of food or a person, that they seem to do well. It looks like they tagged a person as well as a magazine. So maybe tagging would do well. So if I'm writing a description, the posts that seem to do well are pictures of good looking food and um, tagging people uh, that have been to their restaurant. So that would be my description. If you guys need further, uh, a further uh, examples, I did a s assessment for Levit. Here's the social media channels. There's the average engagement rates, and there's my um, my uh, dis brief discussion of of what posts do well. So what I want you to do is find two competitors for the company that you chose last week to do your final project on and do what we just did today, which was a breakdown of the brief description of each of the competitors, the social media information outlined here, and a discussion about the posts that seem to do well. Again, you should have two of these. So again, I'm gonna have one for Ostia Stella and I'm going to also do the Oliver that downtown, right? So I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do both of these uh, and and then and then uh, write up both of them for my assignment. If you have any questions, please let me know. But again, this is the format that I'm looking for, and there should be two of them. 
right? Two of your fake company's competitors.